Hey guys, what's up? I don't know who needs to hear this today, but you possess right now in your power, where you are, wherever you're watching this from right now, everything that you need to be successful. You absolutely do. And if anybody's telling you anything different than that, then question it. I would. And here's the reason why, guys. I believe that God birthed in you everything that you need to go out and create. Just like he birthed into an acorn, the ability to grow into a monstrous, huge, beautiful, thriving, strong oak tree, I believe he birthed that same power into you so that you can go out and create anything in this world that you want to create. And do you know how I know that's a fact? Because my Bible says that we are created in the likeness and the image of God. And we know the image of God is a spirit. It's not us running around in flesh and blood like this. So then what is the likeness of God? Well, God is and was a creator. He created things that pleased him. And he created you. And why did he do that? So that we would go out and glorify him. So that we could point back to him, be the salt, the salt and the light into the world and point everything back to his magnificence. So listen, he created you, which tells me that you right now have the power and the skill and the ability and the love within you without reading a book, without going to a personal development class, without hiring a coach without any of that, without going to school, you possess the ability right now as you're watching this to go create right now whatever kind of future that you desire for you and your family. Now, on that journey, can you sharpen the, the ax, so to speak? Can you sharpen your skills? Absolutely, which is why we read. We read a lot, guys. I wouldn't say a lot. I'm a horrible reader. I read very slow. But here's the thing. When most people are watching TV, I'm either watching a video or plugged into a coach that I've hired or listening to some mentors or I'm reading a book, which is a form of doing all those things to sharpen my skills, to help get better so I can continue to further my family, not only spiritually, not only through relationships, but also financially and you know, through our businesses. But hear me out. You do not have to sharpen those skills. You do not have to know all those things. You don't have to have new concepts to get started. All you have to do to get started is know that you're worth it because the creator created you to create. And all you got to do is use that imagination that he gave you Set these big dreams up, write them down, make them become goals, and then here's the key. This is what separates the 2% from the 98%. Take action. Decide what you're going to do. Commit to it long term. A commitment is just a long term decision. And then be resolute, meaning you're going to have resolve in your life. You're not going to stop until that commitment, that decision has reached the goal. With that said, guys, I love you. I want to see you achieve anything and everything that you want to achieve for you and your family. And if I could be of assistance in any way possible, reach out. I'd love to help.